Most of the current GOP candidates strongly disagree with the decision that bailed out GM and Chrysler. Mitt Romney says that the bailout program was not a success because the bailout program wasted a lot of money. Rick Santorum says they could have gone through a structured bankruptcy without the federal government. And Other candidates are among the same mindset. Here in Oakland County, Michigan, workers from GM experienced the bailout and its after effects firsthand. I was let go December of 08. And um, <clears throat> I've been unemployed since, since that time. I've taken part-time jobs here and there. It's uh, personally affected me and my family. Yeah, a lot of people were uh, very stressed out. They wanted to know, am I going to be next on the chopping block? Is it, when is it going to be my turn to be let go? On the other hand, there were those whose jobs were saved. At the time of the bailout, I was working for General Motors, so I personally benefited by retaining my employment. GM and Chrysler were in desperate need of some kind of help due to the financial crisis at hand. Many think it was the government's duty to step in and save two major corporations from collapsing, while others, especially those running for the GOP election, believe strongly in letting true business competition play out. The economics of a loss of a General Motors and a Chrysler to the economy, uh, not only just the direct employees that work for those companies, but you have to consider kind of the magnitude or kind of the ripple effect out in each one of the, the small communities out there. The free market should operate um, uh, exactly that way, uh, free. But they should also loosen up some of the regulations so that uh, small business can generate uh, more jobs um, by generating customer base. The more customers you have, the more uh, people you can hire. But I strongly believe that if you're gonna fail, that you have to let them fail. For now, this is Charlie Lapastora reporting from Auburn Hills, Michigan. Oakland News Bureau.